And not far from there, another disaster slowly developing on the banks of Lake Granberry, an apartment building at risk of collapsing after several days of heavy rain. Fox Forest Lynn Ann Wynn is live at that apartment building where about 40 people were evacuated. Lynn Ann. Clarice, police cleared 16 units at the lakefront apartments and townhomes. No one was injured, luckily, but if you take a look behind me at these apartments, you can see where that land eroded underneath that building, completely exposing the foundation of these apartments. I'm told air conditioning units were actually dangling off the bottom of this building that you're looking at here, where that land slipped away. And this is just some of what Granbury residents have been dealing with this week. Flood water sweeping away this helpless driver trying to get across in Granbury Thursday night. Zachary Henson is the guy behind the camera. As soon as he started out, I knew that there was no way that that water was passable. Look closely and you can see the driver and passenger barely getting out to safety. Henson and several of his neighbors say flooding is a common problem here. Every time it rains hard, the water covers the only road in and out of their neighborhood. This time around, Henson tells me it kept him from work and he feared he might even miss his graduation tonight. I'm not the only one missing work and I'm not the only life affected out here. There are several, several lives out here that are losing money, <laughs> causing more stress and heartache to their families. By Friday afternoon, the water had gone down enough for neighbors to drive safely and Henson made it to his graduation rehearsal. Across town, other residents were dealing with this. But when we got back up um, and took a look, we we're like, holy cats, right? I mean, you can see. These images captured on Sky 4, showing the danger. Erosion on the banks of Lake Granbury, threatening to bring an entire apartment building down with it. It's frightening, though, because that if it did go, the whole place would go. There would be no way to get away from it. Granbury police gave the residents of the 16 units just five minutes each to get in and get out. Just enough time to grab essentials only. I need to get my, well, my kids stuff and my stuff and my husband's stuff. I'm not sure what I want to do. And it's not clear if or when anyone will be allowed back in. Right now, everything is just put on pause. Uh, the city is working with a uh, structural engineer with the state to come out. That's what we're waiting on right now for them to come out and assess it. So notices have been posted on every apartment in this building warning residents to stay out of here. And we actually talked to some residents that came by with U-Hauls this afternoon trying to get their stuff out. But police say they don't know the extent of the damage at that at this point. So they're only letting people in as long as they believe that it is safe. Clarice, back to you. Are they going to family or friends or is the Red Cross giving them any kind of assistance? You know, I talked to some residents, Clarice, and some residents say that they might have friends that they can stay with, but uh, some of them say that they are going to have to go to a shelter because they don't have anywhere to go at this point. Um, a lot of different situations, again, 16 units and about 40 people. So everyone's kind of got a different situation. Some people do, again, have family and friends they can stay with, but I also talked to neighbors, talked to people who said that they are going to go ahead and try and find shelters tonight. All right, Lynn Ann Wynn reporting live. Thank you.